Oh, easy this time. Excellent. Hi guys, I made this rubber band powered car earlier and it works absolutely fine. So that's that project finished. I then had an idea in one of my other rubber band power videos I showed you these ornithopters. I got a bag full of them cheap from eBay. And I was wondering whether we could make the car propelled by the flapping ornithopter wings. So what I'll do is I'll get some better looking popsicle sticks than that one, glue them across and then glue this body onto there and see if we can get it to go forwards flapping its wings instead of turning the wheels. So it won't be much to see, I'll just cut up some of these to make some cross members and hot glue them in place. And then glue that on top, so I say. Then we'll wind it up. All ready for a test run. I've even added a little bit on the back here so I can put one of my action cameras on there so we can watch it. That might add too much weight but we'll find out when we try it. So annoying. <laughs> well, I think we'd have done the distance if I'd have let it go straight. We'll try it in the opposite direction.
<laughs> well, I didn't count how many turns I put on it that time. So, may not have put as many on. Oh, easy this time. Excellent. <laughs> Had to move the washing out of the way. We did it, both directions. Well, in summary, I think we can safely say it works. It's not the most powerful rubber band powered car I've made, but it's certainly different. So that's a cheap ornithopter kit from China, uh, a bulk purchase. It was 10 for about five pounds or something or less. Stuck onto one of my other rubber band powered cars. I had to use some of my stronger rubber bands to give it enough power to get it going. But it certainly worked.